Podcast, working for you in the KLBK Storm Track Center. Here's Chief Meteorologist Nikki D. Ray. Well, earlier into the 6 o'clock hour, you heard Terry sneezing. She had the tissues handy, and you notice she's not here tonight. She actually is feeling the effects of the high winds that are beginning to push into West Texas. And on top of that, we do have a wind advisory out. These winds are going to continue to bump up as we head into the evening hours, and we do anticipate high wind speeds on into the 3 and 4 o'clock hour. That is why our wind advisory has been extended until 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. And here's the reason why. We've got a cold front coming through, but we are just so dry here in West Texas. We're dealing with Virga showers. We've got showers trying to make their way down, but they're evaporating before hitting the surface. So that is causing quite a bit of high wind speeds to take place. Now, other locations, they've got the cold front, but they also are dealing with more snow. Dealing with it over into Denver continues to push off towards the east, and that is going to be the trend as we head into the evening hours. But we are going to see more so of the Vergas showers and those high wind speeds. And, of course, that cooler air is going to push back into the West Texas region. Right now we're at 55 degrees here in the hub. Hard to believe we were at 81 a short time ago. Going down into San Antonio, 68 degrees. Now closer to home, you really can tell where that cold front is beginning to push its way down. Plainview already at 50. Amarillo coming in at a chilly 38 degrees. And that's going to continue to slide down, cooling everyone off. And of course, those winds are going to bump up as they do head further off towards the south and east. Amarillo sustained wind speeds at 35 miles per hour. Clovis sustained at 41. They are already strictly out of the north. And we're all going to see that northerly wind as we head into the overnight hours. We anticipate these wind speeds to stick around with us, being sustained anywhere from 25 to 45 miles per hour. That's within three-minute increments. And then we will see those wind gusts closer to 50 to even 60 miles per hour. So go ahead. If the kids wake up, let them know. It's okay. It's just high winds outdoors. And to prevent a little of that, bring in your decor if you're already ready for Easter. As far as what's going to be going on, we will see a few flurries up towards the north, but majority of us around the West Texas region, we're going to continue to stay clear. But that clearing will help us tomorrow because we're going to cool off quite a bit. And we're going to want that sunshine, especially after seeing so much of it today and warming those temperatures up. As we head into tomorrow and into Wednesday, we're going to see an increase in the way of those clouds continuing to take place. And of course, that's thanks to those winds shifting out of the south drawing in some heat and drawing in a little bit of moisture. Temperatures for tomorrow dramatically different than today. Starting into the 30s and then we're going to warm up to 55 degrees with those winds only 10 miles per hour. So that is a very nice change. Here's the game plan though. We are going to cool off and of course warm back up. You got to love West Texas. We are always changing things up and as we head into Saturday into Sunday, remember everyone we spring forward and as we spring forward not only are we going to put our clocks an hour up, but we're also going to bump up our chances of rainfall. Now, our rainfall and even some thunderstorm activity is looking to take place Saturday into Sunday early morning. Stay weather aware and, of course, stay with KLBK. We'll continue to keep you updated. You always do, Nikki D. Thanks uh -huh. so much. we got sports coming up next. Stick around.